we're going to take a look about an option there that we even know pretty much. This is what we call the card type. My friend, that's only take a couple of seconds to set up the card type for your user. And it's very, very, very useful. Let's take a quick look how useful that option is. Okay. Um, the card type, this is this can be found in user card type. Uh, give me a second. Let me make sure this switch to English. Okay. User card type. Okay. Uh, we have a couple of card type by default. This one, I think it's, we did create that ourselves. This one, we create that ourselves. Okay, so normally, so you have those by default in the system. Administrator, employee, maintenance, security, visitor. Okay, but you could, for example, an example of card type, let's say you have uh, a, the office divided by, a building divided by different um, company, different office, and you have sometime a visitor come and he will go to a specific office, uh, to a specific company. So you could have the visitor card, right? Organized by company. You could also have the type, the corresponding type, for example, uh, with the company. And once you assign the type, it automatically assigns which door that person has access to. Yeah, that can be done. How uh, we're going to use as example here uh our friend site in St. Louis and we go into through the main door the conference room main door and conference room for example for a visitor right now in order to do that we definitely going to need a we're going to let's let's all right, visitor Senegal site. And the visitor can go with the, uh, what happened here? Okay. And the conference room. Okay. So we have this, uh, the access level created. Now, for the cut type, we can create a relation between the type and the card access group. So we need to create the card access group. That card access group is where we can group access. Let's say, quick example. Here I have three different sites which means I have definitely three different access level at least because access level is by sight. Now you're gonna have situation where user has common access in different location. For example, you have the administrator, you have maybe the uh, um, human resources, um, you know, um, the one doing maintenance, maybe they have the same access level in each of those sites. So you could group them, all right? Now let's say new, in that case, oh, I think I spelled that one, Senegal. In that particular case, I'm creating an access group just by selecting the, the one for Senegal because I'm going to uh, make that in relation to people visiting that site. But I could also have 
for example, a card access group with the common access level for those multiple sites, which means that group has multiple access level, one for each side. That's, um, let me add the name so I don't forget. Okay. Now let's get back to the topic of today, the card access type. Sorry, the card type. When I go to user now, I'm going to create a new type called Senegal type. And by making that in relation with, oh, we had one created before. Let me make sure that's the right one. Okay, perfect, that's the one. With that card access group, my friend, that mean if I'm creating a new user, and actually, let's do it instead of saying if. I'm going to say Senegal. I don't know what's happening to me. That Senegal admin. Okay, and I assign a type Senegal site. And I just say, remember, normally I should keep going by adding access level. Of course, I need to add the card, right? Uh, <clears throat> so the card is added and I save. Now, let me show you. Remember, I didn't, there is much more stuff that I did not do. Now, if I go to the card, Senegal admin, and I go to access level, he already has the access level. I only hope that you know why, okay? But in case you don't, remember, I have created the type, the card type, and I make, I create a relationship between that type and the card access group, which means when I assign that type to a user, it will automatically have the corresponding access level. That's one of the example of the use of the card type. Let's go with some other example. Let's say you have um, the type organize and then you have a call saying, listen, um, I mean the administrator, right? Uh, we need to disable access of um, all the contractor for today or for tomorrow. Okay. And now if you have your user well organized and your contractor, they all with card type contractor. Okay. So let's say by, let me create that because I don't think I had it. And of course you had the proper access level, but instead of you don't have the access level in relation to that, as long as the user has the type, let's see what you can do with one comment and disable all the contractor cards. That can be done, yes, sure. You go to user, badge operation, and here you see card type. I'm selecting contractor. And I say, you know what? Change the card state of all the contractor from valid to invalid, and I hit execute. Everybody having that card type on their profile will be in, you know, known access mode until you switch them back. And by switching them back, it's you go back and you just do the reverse. You set all the card with that card type to valid and then you execute. And that's it. There's other stuff that you can do. Yeah, we have other stuff that you can do if you have your user well organized using card type. Uh, let's say you have a phone call and they urgently need 
um, a list of all the contractor, for example. And you say, you, you, you want a list of all the users? No, 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 only the contractor, please. Uh, okay. And then you go to user card, because this report is not about event or access or stuff like that. It's about user. When it's about user, you need to come to user card and you go to that printer here. And that's where you can run your report related to user. Okay, I'm going to put a check mark in there, filter, and I'm going to say card type. And here I'm going to say contractor. And then I can make some more selection if I want to. But once I'm done, I'm going to click preview and it will show me the list and I can print and do what I want to do. If I want to add some more stuff, for example, I could say add the access level those people are or anything else. You know, you have the list there. Yeah, you have more stuff that you can do with card type. Yeah, 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 you do. I mean, in that case, let's see one more. Uh, okay. Uh, remember, if you ever, if you have done an export import user, you do know the access level, you cannot import that. However, you can import card type. Of course, first you will need to check and confirm the ID of the type. Let's say here I see contractor is 14, I mean, 1490. Okay, 1419. So once I have that number, now I can design my documentation with the list and I can make sure in the import, in the uh, list, I have card type considered. Let's look for card type. Card type. Okay. So I will have to do is making sure I have card type and add the related ID for, for the type to the user. And when I import, they will automatically have card type. And if the card type is linked to the card access group, they will therefore automatically have access level. Okay, yeah, there is other, other, but we're going to stay with those four useful, you know, um, stuff that you can do just by making sure your user has, um, they have card time, card type defined. All right, my friend, I hope these help you remember the use of card type. <laughs> Thank you very much.